Hey guys, just wanted to give a quick guide on how to blackjack the most efficient way in terms of mouse movement so you don't break your wrists while thieving. Uh, we are in Palnivnich, uh, which is in the desert, obviously. Uh, there are three different kinds of guys you can blackjack. Uh, to the north here, we have like there's bearded bandits, which you can do at 45 thieving, non bearded bandits at 55 thieving. And then down here, we have some menophyte thugs that are walking around down in this area, which you need 65 thieving for. Uh, yeah, you're okay to train these guys as soon as you hit the required level. Fail rates aren't too terrible, and then, like, the XP difference is kind of massive, so just as soon as you hit 45, 55, 65, just move on to the next guy. It's honestly not too bad in terms of failing. Uh, for the gear setup, um, GP per hour here is actually quite good for an Iron Man, as long as you have the Rogue's outfit from the Rogue's Den. Uh, I do have a link in the description for like a really good guide on how to do the rogues den by the way so check that out if you t are struggling with that uh, I personally don't really need the GP so I'm just rocking some fashionscape uh, I do have the HP cape and regen bracelet um, which is just nice for regenning HP you take from failing the knockouts or any hits you take uh, inventory should be full of food that does not create inventory space so like if I drink this wine I'm still gonna have a jug of my inventory uh, or I could bring like baskets of strawberries and just replenish them every time I eat one. It's like you basically want to have a full inventory so that when you pickpocket one of these guys, it doesn't let you because it tries to give you a GP pouch like a coin pouch, and if it can't give you a coin pouch, it says you can't pickpocket this person, and, that, and that's what you want because you the goal here is not to fail a pickpocket because he'll knock you out for like three seconds or whatever. So you want to just keep chaining the knockout pickpocket pickpocket. Um, rhythm that you have going on. So, full inventory is what you want. Um, jugs of wine are really nice for Iron Men uh, and in general, just because they heal 11 and you don't need any combat stats. Like so, like the attack reduction you get is just completely meaningless. Uh, and then the barman guy down here also sells jugs of wine, uh, so you can sustain yourself pretty easily. Uh, if you do bring notes, this bank note exchange merchant uh, does exchange them for 5 GP a piece. Just to replenish your uh, stock once you like run out of food. Okay, moving on to the actual method. Uh, the idea here is that you want to trap the bandit you're pickpocketing so he's surrounded on all sides so he can't move once you start going. Uh, this building in particular is really nice for that since there are several spots you can do this in. Uh, so there's this one he's standing in now, there's this one, this one, this one. I mean technically this is one if the curtain's closed. I don't think that's a good one to use really but uh, you know it's it's there. Uh, I do like to use this one just myself because it's what I'm used to. It has a nice space here with the barrel. Um, you have a few options like you can just wait for him to walk into one of these spots by himself and you can run up and start knocking him out. Uh, but there is a way you can lure him into one of these spots, so I'll just show that to you now instead. So obviously just going to lure, come here, I'm going to show you something, what is it? Follow me. So he's following you now. You go to the spot you want him to be in, step on top of him, and then he's going to move like randomly in a direction. So hopefully he comes in. Good. First try, easy. And then, important thing to know here is you are currently phased. Phased meaning you are transparent, he can walk through you. He's not doing it now because he's still following me. But once I knock him out, I need to step away and step back on so I become solid again. So knock out. Knock out, I said. Step off. Step back on. Now you're solid again. He is stuck here until you were done with him, basically. Um, just a couple settings you need to make this work. Uh, so if you notice I right click, I don't have an attack option. That's because I have NPC attack options on hidden. You do need this on hidden for this to work. Uh, you cannot have that attack option, it's just too many options in the menu for this to work. Um, next I have stretched mode on, so if you notice if I don't have stretched mode on, the menu is super tiny and it's hard to click on stuff. Uh, if I have stretched mode on and I zoom all the way in, if I right click him, I'm already on pickpocket. Which is kind of the whole entire point of this. Um, so basically you just need to get in the rhythm of knockout, pickpocket, pickpocket, knockout, pickpocket, pickpocket. And the timing will become like 
more comfortable once you kind of get going, but it's pretty easy to do, like after you practice a little bit. And it's like super minimal mouse movement. Obviously if you fail, you have a full inventory so you can't pickpocket, you just knock them out again. And yeah, keep going. Yep, so once you get that rhythm, uh, you'll basically just be hard chilling, just sit here for hours on end. Uh, I'd recommend getting an audiobook or something, <laughs> because this is really uh, medial and you just need something to listen to while you're doing it. And be sure to like and comment if you want to see more like this, and thanks for watching.